Hey guys, DSmooth753 here, back at another rant video. So, I've been getting some comments on my past few videos about Batman vs. Deathstroke and the Doctor versus Rick Sanchez. And I want to go into and talk about how I personally like to power scale things. Now, people would say that certain characters are stronger than those, which is true, but I like to look at things from a more realistic, for me, more realistic tactical perspective. In the real world, all human beings are relative to each other. Now, in terms of strengths and stuff. Now, yes, there are some humans that are bigger than others. There are some humans that are stronger than others, some humans that are faster than others. But at the end of the day, we're all still human. Nobody's doing some crazy stuff like chucking buildings around. Nobody's doing that in the real world. So, I like to look at things from that perspective. In real life martial arts, skill is the great equalizer in everything. A skilled enough opponent could take down guys three to, to four times bigger than them. That's why I like to look at things from a more skill-based perspective. I'm not going to go super heavy into the crazy scaling like this guy is this many times faster than I. I talked about that in my Goku vs Superman video it's that in the real world all humans are somewhat relative and skill is the great equalizer in everything so I like to look at things from a more tactical perspective not go into all the crazy scaling now like uh, the big debate right now is the Doctor versus Rick Sanchez. They're doing a death ball audit soon on the 20th. It's like a lot of people scale the Doctor way higher than Rick Sanchez. And I would agree that the Doctor is significantly more powerful. He has more impressive feats. When you go into his hacks, you can see time. He's unaffected by time stuff. He's unaffected by paradoxes and stuff. It's just true. And I don't disagree with that. The Doctor is debatably more powerful than Rick. But there's no real way to properly measure that since we're dealing with, since those two characters are so crazy with their abilities. So I wanted to look at it from a tactical perspective. The Doctor mainly wins against Rick Sanchez because he's more skilled, more experienced. He's dealt with all the same crazy stuff as Rick and then some. So in my opinion, the Doctor would beat Rick Sanchez due to that factor alone. And not to mention the hacks, I do believe that the Doctor has significantly better hacks when you take into account he can see through time and all that stuff. And in regards to, to Batman versus Destro, because a lot of people say, well, Batman has washed Destro before. He didn't really, he doesn't really wash them. Every single time they fight, it always goes the same. Either Destro is nerfed, you got the Joker poison or something, or Deathstroke is not really trying. He's not really interested. And like, but like I said, skill is the great equalizer and everything. But you know why UFC fights have weight classes? Because it gets to a point because big guys have skill too. Because when two people are equal in skill, but one is heavier in weight and size... The bigger guys has the advantage. Like the tactics are are rendered null and void because they're both equal. They both have that same tactical advantage. The skill gap is considered null and void because they're both equal in skill. The same thing with Batman and Deathstroke. They're both equal in skill, so it's not it's a non-factor. They're both master martial artists, both weapons experts. In fact, you could you could argue that Batman has a better defense as he's always dealing with trained killers and Batman's never going for the kill. So you could argue that maybe Batman has a better defense there, but that's about it. Like, But then again, two opponents equal in skill, but one is so much stronger, then Deathstroke, Deathstroke's going to destroy Batman in that regard. Now... It's like, now, a lot of people, a lot of scalers, they really want to weigh into the power. Like, people will wank Dragon Ball characters, say, they can 
say people will wank Dragon Ball scalers, Dragon Ball characters. They'll put them on that super high dimensional scaling, which I greatly disagree. Dragon Ball peaks at complex multiversal when you look at it from a realistic perspective. When you look at it from the information presented, Dragon Ball Universe is a complex multiversal universe. That is the peak of their power. They don't get any higher than that. They might have some 4D feats here or there, but from then on, that is the peak. That's why I do. Now, some people will scale to even higher than that. That's fine. I greatly disagree. That's fine. I'm looking at things from a tactical perspective because I am a real life martial artist. I'm a second degree black belt ATA Taekwondo, which is founded under ITF principles. I've studied boxing, jujitsu. I rolled around with people, judo. I've thrown people around. I look at things from a tactical perspective. Even when I'm fighting a bigger, stronger opponent, I'm still able to win because of the way that I'm fighting, because of the tactics that I'm using. Things mostly come down to tactics. Tactics is the great equalizer. Skill is the great equalizer in fighting, in the real world even. Now, in fiction, there are massive power gaps between characters. There's the Hulk. Hulk and Spider-Man are not relative in, in strength. Hulk can, can pick up and throw around buildings. Spider-Man cannot do that. So, like, when there is a significant power gap between characters eight like that to that degree like you have superman who could throw around planets and stuff against like batman who can't do that then yeah that there's no way for batman to beat superman unless he uses some type of underhand tactic like kryptonite or something so like i was i was taught to look at things from a realistic tactical perspective that strength and speed and stuff like that, those are factors in a fight, but they're not the end all be all. I'm looking at things from a real world tactical perspective. Besides, a lot of those crazy scaling that you go into, you know damn well there's no way to prove that those characters are that strong. People will wank uh, characters like Wonder Woman and Superman, all that, to be on a hyperversal tier. They have like no feats like that. People will wank. Goku to be hyperversal when he has no hyperversal feats. People, they go so crazy in the scaling when you know there's no real way to calculate the crazy stuff they do. There's no real way to calculate that. So you know what I do? I round it up. I round it up. When I saw that the Doctor and Rick Sanchez are going to be fighting next death battle, I rounded up their power feats together. Because a lot of the stuff they do are incalculable uncalculable, incalculable, whichever way you say it. There is no way to measure the stuff they do, but one thing you can measure is the massive skill gap between the two. The skill and experience can be measured. So, tell me what you guys think below. I'm looking at things from a realistic perspective, from a tactical perspective. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me what you think below.